Today is a special video. For the first time, I'm going to be sharing publicly one of the videos that are within my paid course, The Notion Academy. And in it, we are going to be building an exercise tracker. It is easy to follow and self-contained, and it's been helping me in my workouts for the past months. So let's get into it. In this lesson, we're going to be building a sports tracker. For the example, I'm going to be using a gym, but this can be applied to any sport. And why do we need to track our sport in the first place? Well, for example, in the gym situation, I always forget the past exercise that I have done this week, for example. And I may train two times my chest and I don't want to. I just want to train it once. Or maybe it's been like four weeks since I don't train my legs because now in the Zoom call era, people just watch my torso. So I forget about my legs. So by tracking this, we can do some calculations that tell us when is the last time that we have exercised each part of the body, which is the last time that we did a particular exercise and so on. So this is why we are doing this. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So we start here in our dashboard. Let's create a new page for our sports tracker. And here we are going to be having a database for the exercise and a database for the body parts. And what do I mean by this? For example, let's say that this is a, a bench press, that is a gym exercise for the chest. So we are gonna relate the bench press with the chest, or if we have a leg curl, we are gonna connect it to the quadriceps, for example. And this is the way that we are gonna have to know which body parts are we exercising the most and which ones are we forgetting about. So these are the body parts. Let's relate it to the exercises. We don't need this one. Okay, and let's come up with some exercises. And so on. Okay, now let's relate it to the body parts. Okay, so here we have it. Let's put them in two columns. And now how are we going to know when we have done what? So we need a daily entry for this, right? So if you have been following this module, you know that we already have a daily pages database that we are gonna be creating one entry in every day. So we can use this one. We can bring here the daily pages database. And in this case, we don't need any of these properties. And we can create here a relational property to the exercises that we are going to do in one particular day. Okay, so let's say that today I have exercised and I have done some push-ups and some bicep curls. Okay, so this has been my workout for today. This one we can hide and here we can start to do some basic calculations like how many times have I trained one of these exercises so with a roll up times trained I can select the day doesn't matter which property because what we are going to do is to count values okay so we have we can see here that one day push ups and one day bicep curls so with this we are going to be able to spot if we are doing too much of an exercise and if we are forgetting about another exercise. Another thing that we can calculate over here is when was the last time that we did the exercise? Again, with a relation, the same day, but here we are going to be bringing the created time. Because remember, we are gonna be creating the, those daily pages in the same day that we are gonna be using them. So we can use this automated property. And here we can calculate which is the latest day. So here we can see when was the last time 
that we did each of the exercises. Another very cool property that we can have is to know how often do we do each of the exercises. And the way that we are gonna be following for this is going to be using the first day that we have done the exercise divided by the time that we have done it. And this is going to tell us how often we are doing the exercise. So for this, we need to create an extra property, which is when was the first time that we did it? Again, they created, but in this case, it's gonna be the earliest date. And now we are gonna create this formula, let's say frequency, and it's gonna be a formula. So what this formula is going to do is to calculate the difference between the current time and the first time that we did the exercise in days and divide that by the times that we have trained that muscle. So this is going to give us every how many days we are doing that exercise. And then with this plus, I'm just adding this string of days to just make it a little bit more, more beautiful. So now since I just created this, I just have one entry. So this is everything, zero days. But if let's say I add a new one, let's also write push-ups. Because this difference is in days, this is still not picking up anything. But in the moment that the, there's gonna be a day difference, this is gonna start calculating which is the, the frequency. So this first time we can hide because this is just for this calculation. And this will be everything that I will need here. But now, how can I calculate over here when was the last time that I trained each body part? Because here we are focusing on the exercises, but I want to really know about the body parts, which is the most important. So we can bring from here when was the last time. So let's gonna do it. And we will do this with a roll-up, right? But here, what we will find is that we cannot find this last time property because we cannot do a roll-up of a roll-up. Again, notion limitation. So how can we hack this? We can create a new property that is going to be last time, let's say for roll-up. And this is going to be a formula that basically is going to copy this over here. <laughs> that is it. So last time. And that's it. We can hide it. And what we can bring here is that formula, last time for rollup. And show the latest date. So now we have it. We can know when is the latest time that we exercise the body parts and when, when is the last time that we did any of these exercises. So now how to use this system? Whenever we are gonna go to the, to the gym, we will have already here the daily pages. And if not, we are gonna create it from here and we are gonna select here the exercises that we are going to be doing. And that is it. Then if we don't really remember what we have done, we can check here how long ago we have done it. Or if we are lacking in some exercises, we can check over here. So all this is automated. The only manual thing is going to be us writing the exercises over here. Of course, now feel free to make this look more beautiful. And that will be it, this is our sports tracker. Welcome back, and that is it. If you were following along, now there is no way that you will forget which workouts you did, so you can know what to do whenever you are working out again. If you like the video, make sure to check the full course in the description, where you will find more than 60 tutorials like this one. And in them, you will be guided step by step, first learning the basics of Notion, and then building all the systems that I've been developing for the past two years. So that is it for this video, guys, and as always, hasta la próxima.